Hey everyone, Skull902 here once more for Sonic 1. Uh, we're at the end of Green Hill Act 3, and let's just unpause this here. Uh, and we're about to head off into Marble Zone. Uh, and this is sort of a slow zone that's got a lot of platforming. Uh, the pacing in this game is really weird. We got Green Hill, which is what most people would say is a fast zone, I believe. Then we've got Marble Zone, and Marble Zone is undeniably slow, full of platforming. Then we get Spring Yard, which uh, can be fast when it wants to, but can also be, you know, slow at the same time. Or, well, not at the same time, literally, but, you know, it can be slow, it can be fast. Uh, and then Labyrinth Zone, which is another slow one. And then we get uh, Starlight, which is a really fast zone. Uh, and then we get uh, Scrap Brain, which is... Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's hell. It's hell. Um, now, I mentioned in the first part that uh, I had some technical difficulties. when I, I tried to do this a couple days ago, and I, I ran into some problems that really shouldn't have prevented me from completing this, but I was dumb and uh, didn't realize at the time that I could have prevented... Uh, or that I could have, uh, you know, continued. Basically, uh, I was done recording Labyrinth Zone, but um, my uh, audio recording screwed up, and um, the file didn't turn out right, and instead of just doing it post-commentary, uh, I deleted everything. And then only after I did that did I realize, wait a second, I could have done part four post and just you know, kept doing all the other parts live. And I was like, well, crap. So here I am again, uh, and hopefully I don't make stupid mistakes like that. <laughs> Pretty much. I thought that story was going to go on a little longer, to be honest. Uh, okay, so, you know, third one, I guess I'll explain what the point of the special stages are, because, you know, that makes sense. This is a let's play, after all. Gotta have some informative shit, you know, pit, uh, placed in there. Um, this special stage isn't exactly a good example of this, but most of them are like a maze, where you have to navigate your way through the design of the special stage in order to get the Chaos Emerald. Um, and getting Chaos Emeralds, good. Very good. Good idea to get Chaos Emeralds in this game. Um, well, I say that, but really, Chaos Emeralds don't affect you very much. It changes the ending very slightly, and honestly, you know, you're not going to notice too much of a difference if you had decided not to, or if you couldn't get all of the Chaos Emeralds. But, uh, you know... I like getting the good ending anyway, because I guess I'm just a completionist person like that. Um, now that one is actually, the one that we just completed, the special stage, is uh, one of the hardest ones in my opinion, in my personal opinion, because, you know, you, uh, you're in this open box with the emerald in the middle, which on paper sounds like it would actually be easier to do, but no. Uh, not, not really. You've got a bunch of, um, reverse blocks, which, uh, reverse the rotation of the special stage. You've got a bunch of up and down blocks, which make this special stage, uh, faster and slower, uh, respectively. You've got a lot of bumpers, which, uh, you know, bounce you around and stuff. There's just always something to throw you off. And, uh, I think I've got the design of that special stage down, though, um, you know, it, it's still likely to fuck you over. Um, there's also goal blocks in the special stage, but it's not a good idea to go into those, uh, because they, uh, they send you back, you know, you don't get the Chaos Emerald, which is bad, because, well, I mean, you, you want the good ending, right? Even though it's... I mean, I'll be honest, not entirely worth getting. Um, but uh, that's pretty much the premise of the special stages. Uh, now, this part would be slow and boring, but I know a way to make it just a little bit quicker. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get this uh, secret extra life here. Like so. And uh, normally what you would be doing is exactly this. Like standing on the block and waiting for the platforms to show up and stuff. But I'm going to jump right over that. Because <laughs> who has time to wait? Am I right? This is Sonic. You gotta go fast in Sonic. Lol memes. Um, so, uh, now, uh, I guess I'll uh, tell you guys a little bit about some uh, concepts uh, for the series that were dropped. Like, uh, when Sonic was originally designed, um, he was supposed to be in, like, this rock band that was uh, actually in the original sound test screen. Uh, with, like, Vector the Crocodile, who, uh, was designed much earlier than I thought he was, um, at first. Uh, Vector the Crocodile and some of the, uh, buddies that you save from, uh, the robots. And, uh, Sonic was also supposed to have a human girlfriend, whose name was Madonna. She was, like, this blonde chick in a red dress. Uh, that was weird. And, um, they changed all of that, uh, because... Uh, one of, like, Sonic was specifically created, I think, to appeal to Western gamers, because Sega wasn't doing too well in, uh, North America, for the most part. They were doing okay in Europe, uh, and, you know, they were doing slightly better than okay in Japan, I think, and, uh, they were doing great in South America, actually. Um... But they wanted a game to appeal to Western gamers, and one of the marketing reps was like, Sonic having a human girlfriend, that's not really going to work out here. So they dumped that, and they also dumped the, the uh, rock band thing. Onto special stage number four. Uh, Sonic was also originally designed with fangs, which makes him look kind of weird, to be honest. Uh, he doesn't look like a protagonist, really with uh, the fangs so uh, I'm glad they cut those out because they looked weird and I'm guessing the marketing reps felt that too so uh, yeah so here we are in special stage number four uh, that's, now that's good LP form am I right just describing what you're doing um, there's uh, some other stuff that I will be talking about but uh, there, it's not really relevant to this part, so I'm kind of SOL for shit to think about on the fly, I guess. Um, oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> um, earlier, we saw me break through like 17 blocks uh, or something, and uh, that's the only time in the game. Because uh, you can you can get point combos uh, for like you know killing a certain amount of enemies in a row or you know doing certain things. It's like for killing enemies and all that. You 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 can get points for breaking stuff and uh, you can you can do combos and uh, that's the only time in the game aside from uh, like getting those little point markers at the signposts um, where you will see a 10,000 point marker. So that's something, I guess. Four Chaos Emeralds down. Oh, yeah. So here we are in uh, Marble Zone Act 3. Uh, you saw this in Part 1, but you can't get Chaos Emeralds after Act 3. Uh, or, well, in the end of Act 3, I should say. Um, because there's a capsule there. And, uh, sort of the, the plot of the game, uh, and this could be dependent on the region, because, uh, the, the plots were slightly changed between Japan and America, but, uh, the plot as I know it is, like, Dr. Robotnik finds this island, it's called South Island, that's where Sonic lives, and where all of his friends are and stuff, and, uh, he, he knows the Chaos Emeralds, which are, you know, powerful gems, they're on uh, this island. And he's like, well, um, these Chaos Emeralds are infinitely powerful, so I want them to take over the world. And uh, he figures that the best way to do it is to entrap 
uh, little animals and put them into uh, his robots so that they can pilot them and, you know, do his evil bidding. And uh, Sonic, the fastest thing alive, as uh, the friend to all these animals is like, Hey, uh, that's kind of bullshit. And so, oh crap. Oh shit. <laughs> I think I'm SOL. I'm definitely SOL. <laughs> Let's see if I can make this. Oh god. <laughs> this is bad. Well, that was terrible. I, uh, I don't know what to say <laughs> about that. Um, I'm very sorry uh, that I completely got distracted from my story, too. Um, here, let's try that again. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Sonic was like, you know, that's not too cool. Uh, and so he, he goes on a quest to save his friends and get the Chaos Emeralds. Because Robotnik's also, you know, trying to uh, industrialize South Island. Like, he wants to put more mechanical things around and um, all that. He wants to use South Island as his factory, I guess, and make Robotnik land and just take over the world generally. Sonic sees this as wrong, like any rational being should, and uh, sits out to stop him. Now let's see if I can do this right this time. I was trying to go for a shortcut, which I usually get, but uh, there's something, there's like a, I, I don't want to call it a phenomenon, but there's like this um, superstition called the uh, recording curse or the let's play curse where like no matter how good at a game you think you are you're always going to be terrible when you're recording yourself playing it and uh, I'm shitty at games uh, I am undeniably very shitty at video games um, so uh, you know this affects me quite a bit um Definitely got some stories to tell about that, but, uh, nah. Um, thank God we're almost done with this, uh, Marble Zone shit, am I right? Um, yeah, but we're gonna go to the boss soon, and, uh, right now, actually. Um, the, some people, like, can hit this boss, uh, three times in one setting like that. Uh, I've never been able to do it, like, successfully until that point. Uh... Wow. This is actually the best run of that boss I ever... Well, I was explaining that I wasn't able to do it, I did it. It's... Kinda... Funny, I guess? Um... Well. Uh... More stories to be had in Part 3. I'm gonna pause right here. And, um... Thank you all for watching, and I'm very sorry for being boring. Let's end this shit already.